Hello and welcome to the episode 11 of the Tale of the Mail series. Today I will tell you a story of a letter sent from a missionary school in Kanpur, to United States during the Second World War. Here is a slight color alteration so that you can see the details. The front of the letter gives us, ample of information. To highlight a few. We have a couple of addresses to track. Few postal markings stamped. A pair of handwritten instructions. And, of course the label. The reverse side of the letter has seven stamps affixed and nicely cancelled. A set of five circular postmarks in black ink. Three circular postmarks in blue ink. One octagonal mark. And a label. The letter was sent from Norona Exchange Post Office. This post office got its name, from a famous auction house of the city, which was run by, Manuel Xavier de Norona. This gentleman also ran the postal services, through his setup. The post office still exists in Kanpur. We also see R142 written on this registered letter, which shows that the registration label had finished that day. Here, I have a bird's eye view of present day Kanpur. The sender has mentioned his address as, Methodist Girls School. It was set up by an American missionary in 1874. Its present name is Methodist High School. So, this map connects four dots of our story. The origin of the letter which is a school. Old location of Norona Exchange Post Office. Its new location. And to add to it, a road runs between them which is still named as Norona Road. This letter was written in 1944, at a time when the Second World War was going on. Letters were being censored. That is, the letter was checked for any critical or sensitive information related to the war. There is a censor mark on the letter which says DHC 89. India was given DH code for civil censorship. In March 1942, it was changed to a three-letter format and DHC was allotted to Bombay censorship station. This particular strike is a Moraine Visa Type 5A which was used between March 1942 and 1945, in violet or blue color. Also the octagonal strike, Type 6, was from Bombay itself. The other postmarks were all put on the American soil, including the one which suggests forwarding. Sealing labels or tapes were used to reseal the envelope for sending it to the destination. Here, a careful look tells us that the brown tape was first used to seal the envelope. It is mentioned by Moraine Visa, as Type 1 without imprint. The label which says opened by examiner, was struck to indicate the receiver, that the letter inside was read and found safe. This sealing label is categorized as Type 13A, and was used at the Bombay sensor station during that period only. Now, we come to the section of postage. 46 and a half annas worth of stamps are affixed on this letter. Here, 40 annas were airmail charges to USA from September 1944 via Lagos. Registration fee of 3 annas was charged. And, another 3 and a half annas, were for the surface postage. The airmail routes were disturbed during the Second World War, hence the flight took a different path for mails to England or USA. The route taken by this letter is shown here in the map. It was via Central Africa to Lagos. An American airliner then took the mails from Lagos to USA. A tentative route from the origin to destination, has been shown here. The following books were referred to, while making this presentation. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.